So I just had my couple cups, three cups of coffee, had my um, leftover Chinese for breakfast, so I should be ready to go. I feel like this guy's an E4 player. Vivnanda from India. What do I tell you? Alright, French defense. I'm going to be playing the French as black, and I'm also going to try playing the London as white. All right, the exchange, or well, not not the exchange French, but I'm going to play the Fort Knox where I bring my bishop to here, then I have to here to make my bad bishop a good bishop. You gotta take back with a knight. <sighs> All right. You bring the bishop out here. Knight. Man. Knight here. Knight here. Yep. Then knight here. Then he should probably bring the knight back to g3. But hopefully he takes, you know. Yeah, the knight doesn't really have any other good squares. They're bad. Okay. Ooh, he takes. Good for me. So he just traded this knight for this knight right here. It's good for me. All right, so bishop... D6. It's good. I don't want my king on an open fire or a fire with his rook, so I'm gonna castle. Um, I'm looking at this square, bringing this knight up here, then trading off the knight and winning a pawn with either the bishop or the knight. Or there's that move. Uh, I take, he takes, then I gotta move my knife. So that's not that good. Um, All right, reinforce it with the queen. Hope they get my queen here. Attacking the king side. You know, I should have brought my bishop up here. But this develops the queen. And I don't have the queen developed yet, so. He's got his rook out. But he doesn't have his bishop out. So it's hard to tell who has a develop or a developmental advantage. Mm, I don't think that was good, but if I bring my bishop here, he can play c4. Can't bring it here anymore. Man, this is not that good for me. But he can't really enter. Yeah. 
I'll try it. I expect c4 or bishop f4. Alright, let's just see what he does. And c4. So if I come back, he's probably threatening to push d5. No, he wouldn't do that. I wish I had something that I don't have. Hmm. All right, I'll just bring the bishop back. Um, probably take it now. Yep, take with the queen. You can't play that because I'll win a pawn. Um, yeah, whoa, play that though. Huh. And I wish I had a better square to put this bishop. If I have anywhere good to put it. <sighs> but he has a backward central pawn, which is bad. Queen here, maybe. Threaten h7. Um, I want my knight to go right here. And then my bishop can come out. And I can bring rooks to the d file. Pressurize this weak d pawn. Let's see if I can win a pawn. Maybe this is a critical moment because he's taking a while. This guy's a platinum or a premium member. Sorry, I thought it was platinum. How long has it been premium? I thought it was platinum for like forever. Um. So this is probably like my good bishop. I mean, it's my only bishop, but this is probably his bad bishop because these pawns were on dark squares. But I'll bring a rook to the d file now. All right, so threatening the pawn, he can defend with the queen here, or retreating the bishop, or take, that'd be bad. So retreating the bishop, um, knight out here. Even though my knight's probably better than this bishop, um, people like to hang on to their bishops. I don't know why, but they do. If I put my queen here, then I can threaten to take this pawn. Because then this bishop will hang. I kind of like that. Alright, and it gives me a more active queen. But this bishop's not doing a lot, so... Except for threatening this pawn. Bam. 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 Or that. that that's, that's, that's good too. It's kind of good. Um, queen over here. Got the bishop 
Just something I don't like. Bring my queen up here. You bring the bishop back. Mm. I can bring my queen over here. Um, alright, let's try it. See, this d-pawn should be a target for me right now. I should play c3, or c6, sorry. On the black side of the board. Ooh, f3, what? That was a big weakness, I think. Bring the queen back here. Yeah. I need to play c6, fix my, get my pawns on light squares because I have a dark square bishop. All right, so threatening the queen um, here. Doesn't really have any good other moves, so I'm just provoking him to make a bunch of weaknesses in his position, which he's doing freely, so I think I'm doing fine. Now, I can't bring my knight up here to attack this pawn, but probably put my knight here like I originally wanted to. Maybe bring my bishop out. Really pressurize this pawn after this knight leaves. Oh, what? What? Man. Uh, if I come back here, you bring the bishop back. If I come up here to h3, that puts a lot of pressure on a king. He can't bring, even bring a bishop back. So I think I like that a little bit. <sighs> now I can look at getting my knight in right there. So now he wants to bring the bishop back. But I'm going to move the knight, and then this square will be free for my queen or my bishop. All right. Almost no doubt. Queen back. Trade queens. Then I have a threat here and a threat here. I have to bring the rook up. Um, then I can probably just like sink my knight right there. Yeah, I think I'm good here. Like, these are uh, some weak moves right here. Like, th this pawn, this pawn, like, making all these weaknesses. Especially these around your king. That's a huge no-no. And I'm going to show them why. You don't make weak king moves. Or weak moves around your king that weaken your king's home. All right, so this comes up here now. I actually don't have a knight right here yet. I'll just play c6. And then I might save a a6 for later because these pawns are pretty good when they're um, both back here on the Square here on the, the their home squares here. So, all right, c six. If he plays um, b four, I'll play a six. Um, is this a move? I want to get my knight right here to fork him. So, do I start pushing these pawns? Or would that make targets and weak squares for me? Um, all right. Try to double up your rooks on the only open file you have. See, he's got a backward pawn on this open file. Maybe I sound like a broken record, but 
Got to attack his weaknesses. Ooh, so now I get a better square from my bishop. And he can't come back because then I want a piece. So then I can bring my bishop up here, maybe. I think I'm looking at knight up here, though. What? Man. Making all kind of weakening moves. Um, G5, maybe? I think I can just ignore that, though, because it's not a real threat, because he still can't push this pawn, because then I'll just take it. So... Mm. Oh, okay. So he wants his pawns on dark squares. Does he not know that this is a dark square bishop? Maybe he does. I don't know. So now once I move this knight, I'll be able to grab this pawn. Possibly. Um, oh, okay. So now I'll play a6. Keep him out of all these light squares. He does have the bishop pair, but, oh, dang it, I still have that, I have that move now. Bam, fork. Woo! Uh, take the free rook. All right, win. All right, that's how you play uh, Fort Knox variation of the French defense, everybody.